you'll be a deliverer of grace. When you start this relationship with Him, your main purpose down here is to give free grace to all. There's divine grace, which is in the, let me see, 1 Corinthians 14, which are the gifts already given to you. You already got them in you. When you were born again, your genetics has got all those gifts in them that's needed. All you've got to do is believe it. Believe it's a done deal because I'm trying to show you it is. And what he wants you to reveal down here and begin to honor him is reveal his free grace. You can't work for it. You can't earn it. You receive it by faith. Okay, now would you turn over to Romans 12, 2. For then you start getting a different mind. Do not be conformed to this world, this age, fashioned after and adapted to its external, superficial customs, but be transformed, changed by the entire renewal of your mind, by its new ideals and its new attitude, so that you may prove for yourself what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God, even the thing which is good and acceptable and perfect in His sight for you. What He's saying here, He wants a relationship with you. What He tells one of you, He tells all of you. You're never going to come into unity up in your head. But when you let the spirit man reign, and God speaks into your spirit, He's going to speak the same word. I've seen it times on one coast, I brought a message. I heard a prophecy, I'd go to another coast, I'd hear that same prophecy out there every second. It was people that were agreeing in the spirit. For two or more of you agree in the spirit, He's there in your midst to accomplish what He wants you to do. So, for years, he's told me, take the church up. Henry has had them earthbound. But they were created to be heavenbound. They were created to live in that heavenly realm that he's made available to you. So, the things that are hooks in you that keeps you from going up, We've been dealing with the last few days, getting them hooks and everything out of you, getting you free to where you can fly. So, I'm trying to show you how you're here. You can see with your ears. You can see with your feelings. Angels, I see with my feelings. They're called winds. And many times they're whirlwinds. I know they're there because I feel them. Therefore, I can see them. I can sanctify my five senses. And it's time that you start a relationship, an intimate relationship with Him. It's time that you quit depending on people like me to tell you what he's saying. <laughs> and you start getting it for yourselves and let me confirm it to you. <laughs> but that's what he won't see. Him and the Father sit down. They're not going to move. The one that is moving is the Holy Spirit in you. And he's the one that wants to take you there. And for your relationship can start there. Uh, with your father. With your brother. Also there, winds are assigned to you. Angels are waiting there for people to grow up and come and give them a visit to where they can have they're out of work. 
They're looking for a job. Well, it's time that we put them to work because there's things down here you can't do. They can. There's darkness down here you can't handle. They can. There's fresh brown of power thrones and dominion down here you can't handle. But boy, them moving with you, you can. You can in a partnership with these angels. Uh, the church has sort of been taught that we're not in the time of angels anymore. Well, if we aren't, we aren't in the time of the Bible because one third about the Bible is about angels. It's also been taught that the time of prophecy is seized. Well, if that's right, then one third of the Bible you need to pour, throw away because one third of it is about prophecy. So two thirds of it is about angels and prophecy. If you discard all that, what do you got left? And I'm afraid that we've been eating on that other third that don't have anything in it. It's time that we get into the good stuff. So, I'm getting ready to take you up. I want to show you how to do it. I don't want you thinking. I don't want you praying. We want to bypass this. What I want you to do is stand up. Put your arms up. Put your head up. No praying. Close your eyes. And start taking a deep breath. I have you take that deep breath so you won't be praying. Okay. Now begin. Begin to go up. There's some of you already are. Keep looking. You can see here. Good. You can see with all five senses. Good. Good. Y'all are going up. Good. Good. Some of you, there comes the wind. Y'all are feeling it coming on you. And some of you that's had hooks in you, when you go through that second realm, that second heaven, they pull right out. So a lot of you are really, the hooks that's been keeping you earthy is being pulled out. Keep going. Good. 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 Oh, now you're there. Now look. Look with all five senses. Let them come. It's touching different places of your body. Different places. Good. Take another deep breath. Yeah. Hallelujah. Good. Thank you, Lord. Now, there comes the wind again. It's the Holy Spirit's really floating over you, and the angels are so. And when these winds come on you, you're there, and they're being assigned to you, and they'll be with you as long as you live. Good. Good. Now, the sense of smell. Get ready to have smells like you've never smelled before. The Ruah of God, the breath of God, smells like apples. Song of Solomon, seven, eight. Uh, there's an incense in your, in the spirit in you. There's a sweet aroma in you. Second Corinthians two fourteen. That when it comes out, it's going to be a perfume in you. Many smell it like honeysuckle, lilac, roses. And when this happens, don't start thinking that a woman's poured a bottle of perfume on her because what it is, these things is coming out of the body, and it's a pleasant aroma to the nostrils of the Father. Good, good. Good. Now many of you saw light. But that's what you are. You are light. And God is light. The Lord is light. The, some of you see different colors. Uh, I see some of you are seeing mountaintops and things like that. Some of you are seeing villages. This is all preparing you 